Hi guys hope you all are doing good welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to share with you the construction of a box culvert make sure you watch this video completely because i am going to share with you the reinforcement details as well as the complete construction procedure of the box culvert so as you can see that we have done the concrete blinding and now the iron bender is placing the reinforcement bars we are using y10 and y12 mm bars here you can see that he is placing the u spacer bar for the construction of the wall the total thickness of our wall is kept at 25 cm so as such the space which was maintained for the reinforcement bar was 18 cm i kept 3.5 cm as the concrete cover on both sides so after placing the reinforcement bars we have started pouring concrete into the base for the construction of our base we maintain a ratio of 1 3 5 one was for cement three was for sharp sand while five was for the aggregate the size of our aggregate was 3 quarter at some places people also use 1 inch aggregate for the base however it is always advised to use 3 quarter aggregate so you can see it after pouring concrete now we are using concrete vibrator as i also mentioned in my previous videos that we have to use concrete vibrator in order to avoid honeycombing you can see that whenever we have done the construction we always use this concrete mixer now you can see that we are pouring concrete into the walls it is pertinent to mention the fact that the dimension of our box culvert is 50 by 90 cm 50 cm is the height end to end while 90 cm is the width end to end here you can see that the reinforcement bars for the decking have been placed we have used y10 and y12 mm bars for the bottom mat we used y12 and y16 mm bars y12 were the runners while y16 were the short bars for the top mat we used y10 and y12 mm bars y10 were the runners while y12 were the short bars both top mat and the bottom mat were separated with the help of horse bench horse bench are also known as the reinforcement chair so whenever you are placing the reinforcement bars make sure you use horse bench in order to keep a space from the top mat to bottom mat after placing the reinforcement bars here you can see that we are pouring concrete into the decking since we are not going to have any filling on the top of this decking we are going to make sure that we maintain a camber at the center the height of our camber is going to be maintained at 5 cm this camber will help us to make sure that the water flows out from the top of the decking for the construction of our head wall we are also going to use y10 and y12 mm bars so guys this is it for today i hope you like this video until my next video goodbye